Okay, uh, let's run for C. Di nitrogen. Oxide is formed when ammonia is oxidized according to the following equation. Um, let's just go down. There. 2 ammonia plus 2O2 forms N2O and 3H2O. Use the standard enthalpies of formation in the table below to calculate a value for the standard enthalpy change of the reaction. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I, uh, I'm kind of bizarre like this. I don't, I don't memorize um, formula. I, some people do. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the way you, you, you want to do it. This is the way you work. Um, I don't, um, and I don't know why I don't. I go, oh, did not want to do that. <laughs> um, I kind of think in my head what's going on. What I look at is the energy change here and the energy change here, there must be an energy change, we're looking at formation. The difference in these two energy changes tells me how much energy is given off. Okay, for all those who don't, we'll lose delta H and the term delta H and we'll keep delta H. R for the reaction is equal to the the sum of you see this funny sign uh, the sum of all the enthalpy changes here of our products i'm not going to write delta h or anything oh do i have a delta h product uh, and this is the formation of the products and we'll take away from that we'll subtract the sum of delta h of our reactants okay so let's have a look our products we have the formation of n2o from our table we know that's plus 82 and we also need to add to that the production and so the loss of 286 kilojoules of three water molecules that's what we need to do there this is our products so if we kind of look at all, all this i was checking uh, if we look at all this we should get oh in my head uh, three times two eight six you mine uh, plus eight two minus seven seven six and seven seven six so we're actually losing 776 kilojoules from this side all right now prod uh, that was our products our reactants it's really easy we've got we've got and we should put brackets and we'll subtract from there we've got two lots of minus 46 and that is it two lots of minus 46 should give us 92 92 kilojoules all right so we should have across here minus 776 kilojoules and, we, and we've actually on this side in the formation what that means is if you were to make these from scratch you would have lost minus, two, no, minus 92 kilojoules and we're looking for the difference if this is going to we, we, well basically we want to know the difference and, and that's how I look at it I look at the difference between those two if you're going to use the equation which we're doing down here the formula be minus minus 92 and two minuses make a plus or you look at my way i want to know the difference between minus two and minus seven six so i would do minus seven seven six plus 92 so i want to know the difference and that should give me minus six eight four kilojoules per molimol that's it i've tried to address it both ways one way where you've got those of us who like to use the formulae products minus reactants and those of you who like to picture in your head what's going on and which is what i am okay let's come out of this let's stop with 